Okay, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to build our Gatsby project. It's going to build the blog out, and then we're going to deploy it to Cloudflare so that it's live on the internet and anybody can go visit it. Now, this is not my preferred way of deploying a Gatsby strappy project, but this is what the tutorial goes through. So let's do it and see how it's done. The very first thing we want to do is want to build the Gatsby project. Now, right now I have Strapi backend and Gatsby frontend both running on development servers. So here's the Strapi backend with all of our posts. And here's the Gatsby uh, frontend, which is live and it works perfectly fine. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to use this build command. So let me first exit out of the Gatsby front end development server. And if you use yarn, you can use yarn build. Uh, or if you're using npm, you can just use uh, npm run build, or you could just write uh, Gatsby build uh, if you have the Gatsby command line interface installed. And that's what this does here. Uh, npm run build just runs Gatsby build. So we'll give this a few seconds and it's going to compile all of the Gatsby code into a series of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files that we will then be able to uh, deploy up to Cloudflare. Okay, I think we are done here. Yeah, we should be done here. Uh, now we're done. Okay, perfect. So if we look inside the public folder here, we see we have a whole bunch of files. These are the static HTML, JavaScript, CSS files that we're going to deploy. And uh, if you go up to any of these files, uh, let's let's open this in File Explorer. So if we go into our public folder here and we go to index, here we go. We have the actual website here running in a single HTML file for the home page. And uh, you can see here, this is just running straight out of the file. Now, if we click on this, it's not going to work because it's assuming C colon is the root and all of our files are directly on the C drive root, uh, which they're not. But if you deploy them, then they effectively will be, right? So we could go to an individual uh, blog post. There's an HTML site there. And uh, this file opens up and we get exactly that blog post. So uh, that's what we've done. Uh, now, next, we're going to want to go into Cloudflare, right? So completely uh, built out our uh, our blog and we're going to deploy it and you're going to have to sign up for Cloudflare. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can create an account. Uh, I already have an account, so it's logged me in. And uh, now that I'm logged in, we can continue here. OK, so there are a few commands here to uh, install this Wrangler. Uh, this is a as it says, this is the Cloudflare command line tool. So it's going to interface with uh, your Cloudflare account. Uh, the NPM command is a little bit different. And if we look at the readme file, it's going to be NPM install Wrangler. And we'll use the save dev uh, flag here. So let's install Wrangler. And that should install fairly quickly. If we look at our package.json, we see here it is. As a de dev dependency, we have Wrangler installed. Perfect. And now that we have that done, we simply want to um, deploy it. So again, we'll use the NPM version here. So that's going to be npx Wrangler pages uh, deploy public. So uh, we are deploying the public folder, right? That's what we're doing here. So let's run that. And we get this little pop up asking us to authorize uh, Wrangler to actually do all this stuff, which we do. Uh, great. And now we have to name the project. So if we go here, we see, yes, we have this authorization that pops up. And um, yeah, we can name the project. Uh, let's just name it um, Strappy Gatsby Blog. Uh, the main production branch, uh, that's just going to be this branch here from GitHub. So that's main. And it's uploading. Okay, so that has been successfully deployed. And let's go to this link it gives us. We will allow it to open. And there we are. Okay, so here we are live on 
the internet. Uh, Pages.dev, that's Cloudflare's um, domain. So the website is live and we can click on blog posts. We go to the blog post. We can click on the um, categories here. We get to the category web pages and go home and that's it. So we are now live. We have successfully deployed the Strappy Gatsby blog that we built over the past several lessons. However, I said earlier that this is not my preferred deployment method and there's a reason why. For example, let's say we want to change something. Let's say we want to change, I don't know, the, the color or we want to make this, uh, this headline here, this uh, website name and actual links that I can click on it and then I can go to the home page, right? That's, that's a natural navigation uh, method that everybody uses. Right now, how would I do that? Well, I would have to, I would have to go into my uh, component, right? my layout component uh, that's right here. And I would have to then go to this H1. I would make this a link. And I would go to the root, right? And then I would save this. Now, it wouldn't actually do anything here because this is my deployed uh, website. So if I was to instead run a development server here so locally on my own machine let's let that run okay that's running so let's open up localhost port 8000 we can see i can now click on this it's a link right i can go to this uh, category page and then i can click on this and it goes back to my home page so my development server is working but if i just save this of course that's not going to change the deployed website which is right here this is the deployed website this is using an older version of the code. So what I would have to do then if I wanted to update this is I would have to rebuild it and then push it back up to the Cloudflare servers using Wrangler again, right? So let me do that. Let me terminate this and then let me uh, run uh, npm run build so that I can rebuild it. Perfect, okay, it's been rebuilt. Now let me run that npx command again here. And it's uploading successfully, uploaded, right? So we can go to our pages here and we can see that here it has, it's been re-uploaded. And let me refresh this page now. Okay, it's still not working. And I think the reason why is that, yes, so the new deployment is uh, using a new subdomain in front of here. So this is the 448, it's an older subdomain, but I believe the way this works, if I just delete it, there we go. I'm going to be uh, using the most recent deployment and it looks like that link is working. So we can go home by clicking on the website title, which is great. Okay, so what I had to do is I had to rebuild the Gatsby blog uh, in VS Code, and then I had to push that newer version up to uh, Cloudflare using Wrangler. That's not a terrible experience. I mean, it's not great, but two manual steps, you can do that in the command line. What becomes more of an issue is if I want to edit this content or create a brand new blog post, which is naturally something you want to do in a blog. You want to be able to easily create new blog posts. Well, imagine for me to create a new blog post, I would have to go to my Strapi backend and create a new entry, create a post, that's fine, but I'd have to first start up this development server for Strapi locally on my machine. And then once that's done, I'd have to go into VS Code, open up my Gatsby file, and then rebuild it and then use Wrangler to push it up. So there's a lot of manual steps here going from the different sides of the back end to the front end to pushing it up. That's not the optimum experience, right? We don't want that. We want things to be a lot more easy to use, uh, especially if you've built this for a client, they are not able to open up VS Code and rebuild the website, right? So in future videos, we're going to go over ways to solve some of these issues and get a much better deployment experience. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll see you then.